Hey friends, a lot of people have asked if I would ever do a, a home vlog or a uh, house tour of some of the cool Disney collectibles that I have gotten over my journeys. And I decided, why not? I normally don't do it, but you know what? I don't mind actually showing you guys some of the cool stuff I keep in my house. These are things that I have either collected from visiting the uh, antique mall or from uh, Forever Vintage or even things that people have sent me. And uh, you know, it's not over the top. It's just things that I personally connect with. I think everyone has their own thing and most of these things have a meaning for me. So let's go do this. Here is just a quick glimpse of my house, basically, and like I said, I'll just go through it and show you some of my favorite little collectibles and just things that I personally enjoy. There's no real big theming here. It's just a bunch of random things that I connect with, you know, whether it be something personal, whether it be something sentimental or something that I just find very interesting. And uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorites, but of course, we're gonna have to address the elephant in the room. That right there is an actual elephant from Trader Sam's. This is one of the collectible tiki mugs and I just absolutely love this. I'm just, I'm just playing. That's crazy. That's my Dalmatian. Puppy power. Say hi, Gracie. Hello. Say hi. Can I, can I get a hello? Yes. Oh. Well, thank you. Some of you guys know Gracie from videos before. She hasn't been in a video in quite some time. And like I said, I don't normally do these kind of things and like these kind of videos, but you know, hey, it's a home vlog and this is where she's at. So hello, say hi to everyone. Okay, all right, we'll get to, we'll get to the other stuff. It's actually just me and Gracie here and uh, me and her mom actually share her. So she gets to have two homes and uh, yeah, it's just us here. And like I said, it's kind of like a bachelor's pad, except for her, she basically just runs everything. But let me just start showing you some of the cool stuff. Uh, I figured we'll start back over at the door here uh, because I did my intro here next to the Haunted Mansion plaque. And I love this plaque, I've had this for a while. But the cool thing that I wanted to show you was this right here, because that is an actual piece of the wallpaper from the stretching portrait room in Disneyland. How awesome is that? And it's a certificate of authenticity with it. I absolutely love it. And that's a cinnamon broom. I like the way it makes the house smell. I remember when I actually first moved into this apartment, I gave you guys like a little tour of my kitchen and you guys loved that I had the monorail and the contemporary above the kitchen shelves. And uh, just wanna show you like the progress of with that and what I'm adding to it. So if you can see up top, I have actually Spaceship Earth right there and then the monorail track actually goes all the way through and through. You know, usually you would put this around your Christmas tree, but I wanted to display it all year long. And plus I'm a big fan of the contemporary, so big that I even have this little piece right here. This is actually artwork, well, contemporary artwork from the contemporary resort. And I always keep like little pictures down here to like show where it came from. And you can see right there, that's where the actual artwork used to hang in the rooms at the contemporary. Then I can just kind of tuck it back up in there. Thank you. This is actually my counter for my kitchen. It gets a little cluttered over here because I just kind of put a lot of cool stuff over here. This is awesome. This is a vein pod from the Valley of Mora at Pandora in Animal Kingdom. Somebody made me this one. Uh, two broke mice made that actually. It's Nate's Meat Sweats Hanky. I really love that. And then also Paula and Nicola got that pumpkin. And then, oh, Adam and the family actually made that one, Paging Mr. Morrow. Ooh, Gracie made us this one. I love this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Stay. That's not gonna work. There we go, much easier. But Gracie actually made this for me the last time she came over and visited with her family, and I love it. Too magical, Mr. Morrow. And on the back side, I got a little Simba. 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 Over here, we have some really cool stuff. These are just some things that I, you know, 
collected or people have sent me. That one is really cool because that is uh, a, a guidebook to Disneyland, Walt Disney's Guide to Disneyland from 1958. And somebody sent that to me and I put it in the frame because I think that's unbelievable, isn't it? So I think the park opened in 1955. So that is six, seven, eight. The third guidebook that was ever made at for Disneyland right here is a Walt Disney World Honorary Citizen Certificate. This one is very cool because normally these have been filled out, but this is all blank, and it's from 1981. That's crazy, right? I got this from Booster Packs and Beyond. This over here is an Epcot Center news brief. This is when the park first opened, October 16th, 1982. This was, what is it, 15 days? Yeah, so this, oh, day 16, see it down there? Day 16 of when Epcot opened, and basically it has cool stuff like the times that uh, things are happening, like Future World is open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., World Showcase, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., Magic Kingdom, because at that time, only Epcot and Magic Kingdom were open. That's really awesome stuff, isn't it? One of my biggest regrets in life was that I did not make it to Disney World sooner in my life. I didn't actually make come down to Disney World until I was in my 20s. I wish that I was able to see it in the 90s. I would have absolutely loved that. I mean, I wish I could remember it in the 80s, um, but I didn't actually come down to Disney until the 2000s. And I wish I did make it down sooner, but you know, it wasn't really easy for my family uh, when I was growing up. Uh, my mom was a single mom uh, for a while until she met my stepdad and uh, it was hard for her to do vacations. So we camped a lot and uh, yeah, we always made the best of what we had though. So that's why I find things like this so interesting. Isn't it awesome how they actually say uh, all different opening celebrations they had? Like Marie Osmond will share the spotlight for the program. That's crazy. And then they also, down here it says, also for the grand opening weekend, several resort restaurants will be closed for the event. The Contemporary, the Outer Rim, and the Polynesian Village, South Seas. That is some awesome history. And speaking of uh, Epcot, uh, I'm a big fan of eyes and ears. I have quite a bit of eyes and ears. And I frame this one because I really love Epcot. And I love the eyes and ears, so I've been collecting those. Uh, I'm probably not gonna show you all that stuff because I have it like in folders and stuff like that, but this one's really cool. This is the eyes and ears for Epcot opening day, October 1st, 1982. Look at that, isn't that so cool? That's why I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put that one up. And I kinda like how this wall is coming along. I'm gonna add more to it, but I like it so far. Like I said, some things just, you know, mean things to certain people. I love history. I love Disney history. So that's why I'm more attracted to those things. But I do have some modern stuff and I do have some really, really cool other things. Let me show you one awesome piece that I have. This is my bedroom and my closet and my bathroom. I'm not really gonna show you anything in here because there's nothing really Disney themed and Gracie just literally throws her toys all over the bedroom, but this is a piece of teddy bearer's fur right here. How awesome is that? I absolutely love this. And if you can see, you can still see some of the pink stuff actually in the fur. And this actually opens so that you can kind of touch it, right? And a little back history about teddy bearer. I also have Max who is uh, the deer that talks during the Country Bear Jamboree that I'm actually working on. I'm gonna make one just like this for that one. And I like this frame. Yeah, I put this together myself. I feel very fancy. Another big thing that I love is this Mickey Fantasia picture. These are from the All-Star Movie Resort. These were hanging in the rooms and this one I absolutely love this one. I just love the way it looks. You got little Mickey in there. And then this one over here matches it. And uh, these are both from the All-Star Movies Resorts. Really cool pieces. I absolutely love them. 
one thing I'm kind of a sucker for things like this and that's why I make the videos at like the Lakeland Antique Mall and at Forever Vintage and stuff like that because I absolutely enjoy it like I like showing it to you guys but I also like getting it myself and uh, it kind of just coexists perfectly for me and as you could tell I love the resort furniture this is a lamp from the Polynesian Resort this was from the lobby isn't that crazy? The lobby of the Polynesian. Yeah. And uh, this is where they actually kept it. Remember, I, I keep everything there. So they used to be on the outside of those uh, couches. And it's kind of cool because now it's in my home. I also have another Polynesian floor lamp. And this one used to be in the rooms at the Polynesian. And I love this one. I have a wrong light bulb in that. Don't judge me. This one has actual... Yeah, the little tiki god. You've probably seen this before when I put it in the Lakeland Antique Mall and at Forever Vintage, and it's got the hidden Mickeys on it. It's very cool, and I love it, and it's right in between my couches. I probably would've went like one and one, but I had to have them both. Also, the Grand Floridian pillow. You know, I love it. As I sit here, this is kind of like my uh, TV watching area, but this is also where I edit my uh, videos on. Usually I pour, like I grab a bar stool and I bring it and set it right there. But uh, I got the Haunted Mansion pass holder uh, tray. I guess that's what you call it. Yeah, I've had this one for a while. And then uh, I'll show you some of this cool stuff that I have over here too. These are my Disney dollars. I really love these. People have sent me these and uh, it's just something that I really love to collect. The Dumbo one, the Snow White one is probably one of my favorites. I like this one because it has Epcot in the back. Let me show you. Isn't that cool? And I put them in these things so I can see both sides. They have like a little protector on each of them. Over here I have some more. I really love this $5 Goofy one too. Something about Disney dollars, I'm just obsessed. I really am. I absolutely am obsessed with these. Here is basically like a shelf full of amazing little gems and treats. This right here, I like this a lot. Uh, a friend, Mike, bought that for me. A Walt Disney World security officer badge. These are super rare and I absolutely love this. Like this is one of my favorite things that I own. And then, oh, the Hatbox Ghost Tiki Mug. This shouldn't be here. I put that there because I wanted to put it over here. Maybe I'll put it on that. The Partner Statue. Back here, I like these. These are Osborne Family Spectacle of Lights glasses from MGM Studios. Don't you miss that? Good old MGM. I am so happy I was able to see the Osborne Family Spectacle of Lights before that went away because if I had to look back and watch videos of that and not knowing I would never have been able to see it, it probably would have hurt so bad. So I'm thankful that I was able to see that. This up here is really awesome. This was given to me too by my friend at ZZ Top there. Just joking. <laughs> this is a Ben Birch uh, canvas and I think there's only 95 of these made and I absolutely love this because I am obsessed with transportation that's why I think I love Disney World so much so I, I try to like piece things together because obviously we see the monorail going the Nautilus in the background so do you think that they're sitting on a people mover where are they, you know what I mean I feel like it's almost all the transportation in one picture I love this picture though it's number 20 of 95 and then up here, speaking of Nautilus, I do have the seaweed from the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I kind of just have it draped over my door because I like the way it looks there. But big fan of transportation, like I said. I was only able to go to Disneyland once in my life, and I absolutely loved it. I, I definitely plan on going back to Disneyland as soon as I can or as soon as it reopens. But you'll see I have a lot of nifty things from Disneyland that uh, people have sent me and I just were like, oh, this is awesome. You know, like I don't show everything that people send me. I have tons of stuff, uh, but I keep everything. Let me tell you something. I'll, I'll give you a glimpse of like all the, you know, pictures and cards, everything that anyone has ever sent me, I hold near and dear to my heart. I really do. And I would never get rid of it. It's always with me.
just a little breakdown of uh, some more things on the shelf. This is a cast member holiday celebration pin set from 2000. So that's 20 years old right there. This is a Club 33 napkin from Disneyland. These are really cool because these are very old Haunted Mansion postcards. Somebody sent me these and I thought they were so awesome. I thought about basically framing them, but they're super like, let me try to show you like it goes like this. So it would be very hard for me to actually frame those. So I just kind of like set them here and then pull them out and look at them. I think that's what you do with most collectibles. Just stare at it. Right back here is the only cast member outfit that I have. Anybody know where that's from? Like if you recognize where this cast member outfit is, let me know in the comments. It'd be fun to see in like a little guessing game. And then down here, we've got some more interesting things. Ooh, this is a glass from the Contemporary from uh, its opening. So 1971 or 72. In the back, you know how I was telling you over there, the Walt Disney uh, Guide to Disneyland. Right here, you can actually see all the different guides they have. So that was the first one, the second one, and right there, right there, 1958. So 55, we got 56, 57, 58. How really awesome is that? Like I said, some things I just connect with more on a personal level, like these old Disneyland uh, souvenir guides. Now, these aren't really something like, I mean, they're really cool because they're old, but like this one is from 1985. That was the year I was born. So uh, I absolutely love this one itself. And I see all the Kodak film on the back. Like stuff like that drives me so insane. I love it. <laughs> Borrow a Kodak camera for free when you're at Disney. How crazy is that? On the side, I have basically all my different lanyards and stuff from media events at Disney, SeaWorld, Busch Gardens, all that other stuff. I kind of just hang them there. These are kind of cool because these are pins and these pins are from a media event. Uh, I think it was their first time. And uh, I don't know, somebody gave them to me. Oh yeah, I got these from uh, the character corner. He actually gave those to me. This nut dish is so awesome. I absolutely love this. I'm gonna kind of go in a better light to show you. Right here, yeah, let me show you. I set it down because I absolutely love this and I'd be so heartbroken if anything ever happened to this, but this is from 1969, the opening day, well, the opening of the Haunted Mansion. And just take a look at the detail in this. Unbelievable. We have the Mark Twain. We have the Jungle Cruise. The monorail. Look at right here. Absolutely one of my favorite things. So awesome. Like I said, people just value different things. It's all about your personal preference. And like I said, I'm a big history buff when it comes to Disney and Walt Disney himself. So those are the things that I tend to lean towards. Also, like the rarity of things. I absolutely love rare things. Even if they aren't like important, like a piece of paper, you have to, you have to think about that. Like paper is such easily damaged and easily like destroyed. So I feel like things from the 50s and 60s and 70s, that's so awesome to keep that. You know what I mean? Even if it's just an ad or if it's a pamphlet or anything like that, like I just absolutely love it. And like I told you before, I keep everything from postcards to notes that people have sent us. And this is when I had a PO box. I don't have a PO box anymore, but I've kept these over the years and I absolutely love it. These, oh, this is from Vicky and Jen. I absolutely love that. Who's this from? Oh, it's from Sydney. And I remember like all these people and I have so many cards. It would take a very long time if I actually just went through all of this. This is from, oh, Joanne. Yeah. Yeah, it would take me a long time to actually go over this, but I do cherish anything anyone has ever sent me. Artwork. I maybe open up a PO box again because I absolutely love this. And it's something that I'll probably keep for the rest of my life. Anywho's. I can go on and on and on, but 
I feel like I'm just dragging out the video. I showed you a lot of cool stuff. I still have a lot more. And, and if you guys did see anything uh, that you sent me, thank you for sending me those things. And um, if you didn't see anything, like I said, I do have it. I always keep it. I never get rid of anything. And I'm just appreciative of everything that I have. All of this and the furniture, the pictures and stuff like that, this is all stuff that I actually accumulated over the past year. You know, when I first moved down to Florida, I came down with my car and I had my TV, my computer, my clothes, my box full of notes that I've kept over the years and just a very few things. So I'm very happy and proud of what I've gotten in such a short time and everything that I've uh, just gained. I'm very happy about it. Like I'm very, I'm very proud of myself. So uh, yeah. Oh. Gotta say bye to Gracie. Yes, we do, because you're a beautiful girl. Yes, you are. She's got her nails painted for Halloween. Yes. Hello? Faster, 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 faster. Oh. <laughs> Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!